Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Albert Potato, and here we check out the latest and the greatest strategy games each and every day of the week. Today, we're checking out a game called Terrascape, which is a city builder uh, that is kind of modular, I guess, in terms of the way that it uh, it is approached. Uh, let's jump into the beginner island. Uh, we can randomize the seed a little bit and, uh, and jump in. As ever, I'll do my very best to explain what the heck is happening, and hopefully we'll have a little bit of fun along the way. So, uh, this is actually a playtest for, uh, for the game, which is going to be coming out in a couple of weeks' time. Uh, first thing to note is that it looks absolutely good. Gorgeous, doesn't it? I mean, it just looks like such a lived-in world, sort of straight away. Anyway, uh, we're on the beginner island. Let's um, let's get our first building down here. So uh, this is the keep. It's, I guess, not super important, uh, but it is the uh, the main building, and we will be building off it. So let's get it built. Uh, boom, we've managed to get ourselves 20 points. Now, points are important for a variety of reasons. If we uh, draw this little thing down here, we can see that the forestry deck has been unlocked. And we'll get to that uh, momentarily. Uh, we've got our score down at the bottom here. And then we've got our card drawing mechanic down here. So, uh, we need to select which deck we would like to draw a specific building from. Uh, we're going to choose the forestry, uh, the forestry um, deck because it is literally the only option that we have at the moment. And we only have one building available in the forestry deck. This is the Lumberjack. It works exactly as you would anticipate. Um, you are able to place it ideally, like surrounded by trees. And you can see that there are point values, uh, you know, surrounding surrounding the building specifically. Um, so if we're able to put it in this little, um, this little clearing here, we're gonna get four points per wooded tile. Uh, we can't unfortunately place it on any river tiles, but that's okay. I'm sure we'll, we'll manage to find some other stuff to go on river tiles. But we do want it to try and be as surrounded as possible. Sure, let's let's go there in that little sort of grotto. Although, if there is if there is a resource on a specific tile, then uh, if we stick down a building, then it will replace it. So actually, let's uh, let's stick with here. Right. So, uh, what happens? We've got our 20 points. That's nice. Great stuff. Love to see it. Uh, that was a little gold 20 points. The game kind of ranks how you do uh, in terms of bronze, silver, and gold. So, uh, getting the getting the seal of approval there, we got a gold rated. We got a gold rated building placement. I gotta be honest, I'm not loving like many of these other placements. That's another gold one. Excellent. Love to see it. And just like that, we are out of lumberjacks. So, whenever you place buildings that belong to a certain deck, you'll unlock new buildings in that deck. Decks in which new buildings will be unlocked soon uh, are displayed in this corner. That is indeed very, very important. And success, yep, great, happy days. We need to try and build up as much of a score as we possibly can. Thank you very, very much. I don't need to do... Uh, to deal with that. Right, so uh, we've got the opportunity uh, to get ourselves a brand new deck. Um, that is the village deck, possible buildings, some cottages, nice. Uh, but we've also got a brand new building as indicated by this little plus sign. Uh, we've got a brand new building in the forestry deck. We've got the orchard uh, available in the forestry deck. I think, you know, for the sake of just sort of changing things up a little bit, we're going to start on the cottages. Uh, we receive points based on proximity to the keep, which is definitely sort of noteworthy. Uh, we also get some bonuses being next to, what is this, forest? That's, um, that's fine. Uh, that's looking pretty good. We get some points being next to a lumberjack, uh, as you can see on this little list. Uh, receives, loses points on grass as well, so that's, that's kind of noteworthy. I mean, I'm sort of thinking that basically we want to be building cottages in rough proximity to the keep. I don't think that that's controversial in any way whatsoever. I'm trying to space them around, trying to not get too compacted in here, but we might end up going down that road. Anyway, um, I think we're going to switch back to the forestry deck, and actually we're going to take another, uh, another pile right now whilst we can, although yeah, we'll just take it now. Uh, I'll take another forestry deck as well. Keep upgraded. Well, hey, hey, look at that. When this progress ring has been filled, you can upgrade your main building, upgrading rewards uh, with your additional deck slots in the deck selection as well as brand new decks. Excellent. Brilliant news. Oh, look at that. Fantastic. We have now uh, managed to unlock the fishing boat deck or the fishery 
deck, I should say. That's very, very cool indeed. Right, let's check out what Orchards do. Um, orchards receive a penalty by being next to the coast, but they're completely fine to be sort of surrounded by a forest. And in fact, that's exactly where they sort of like to be. There is a, a sort of nice bonus proximity by being next to the lumber mill, or the lumberjack, I should say, uh, but that's fine. As long as we're sort of reasonably often hitting uh, gold, then I think we will try and... Yeah, I don't really want to replace the deer. I mean, we definitely... Ooh, that's a good one. That's a very, very juicy, juicy slot for that. Um, lumberjack. The only thing that lumberjacks don't really like being next to is other lumberjacks. But to be fair, they pair quite nicely with these orchards. So I'll, I'll nab that down there, and I'll see if maybe we can get another... Uh, eight, eight. Oh, that's another lumberjack there. That's not an orchard. Okay, that's fine. Uh, you know what? Let's replace those deers. Fine. Brilliant. That gets us a hunting cabin. Now, if I had to wager, I would suspect that the hunting cabin probably takes advantage of the fact that there are deers on the tile. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I want to go fishery. Let's go fishery. Okay, what does a fishing boat do? Uh, receives, loses points on water. Uh, basically, it's another proximity thing. So we need to be very, very careful about how we approach that. So we need to try and find a little, a little system here where we're able to maximize tiles. There we go. Oh, this is, this is just, it's free real estate. It's literally free real estate. Okay. Good. We're hitting gold pretty consistently now. I would like some more... I'll take the hunting cabin, but I would like some more fishing boats, please. Yeah, let's take some more fishing boats because, honestly, it just feels like it's such an easy little life hack. Nice. Oh, look at that. Fishery is now available. That's great. And that's pretty good, too. Okay, do we have much more water? Oh, we got tons of water, dude. We're, we're absolutely swimming. Okay, let's get this hunting cabin down. Game, that's deer. Excellent. Okay, forest, river, lake, and other hunting cabins give massive negative penalties. Also, the the area of effect of the um, of the the hunting cabin apparently is absolutely gargantuan. Oh my god, that's forty six points, literally right there. Can we beat forty six points? God, I mean, this is this is this is a. This is a flipping building, folks. Holy cow. 32. 38. I mean, I'm not going to say no to 38 points. That is definitely gold. Holy cow, that feels great. Okay. Um, I'd like to experiment with the brand new fishery, please. Yeah. So what's the what's the dealio? Uh, fish, fishing boats, proximity to water, basically 35 points. Is 35 points the best that we can really do? I mean, to be fair... To be fair, yes. Uh, to be honest, the river is actually giving, like, a really, really large amount of points. Is there a better place, sort of, in proximity to the river and the ocean? Not really. Like, that seems to be... That seems to be the best. Sure. Let's stick it down there. I think that's going to be gold. It's not gold! That's only silver! Okay. So, clearly, there's a little, a little, bit, of, a little bit more work... Uh, in the fishery department uh, to be doing. Uh, hey, look at that. The keep has just managed to be upgraded. Boom, let's get that sorted. Grain fields are now available. Fantastic news. Delighted. Hmm, 25? I don't really love any of these point combos. Let's maybe see if we can try and get... Uh, let's maybe see if we can try and get, get farming. Give me... Give me more farming, sure. 12, 12 grain fields is maybe a little bit too much. Uh, what are grain fields doing? Right, they give uh, bonuses based on grass, stone, and negative uh, regarding coasts, and receives, loses points from rivers, lakes, and other grain fields. Okay, is there a particularly good area for us here? Oh, this is such a nice area for a hunting cabin. I don't know. I'm I'm not loving this area, like, for farming. There's a lot of good opportunities on this island. None of them particularly feel very farming-oriented. And we've just gone given ourselves 12 flipping grain fields. Okay, well, let's sort of try and connect something up here. That's good. Well, it's not great, but it's good enough. And you know what? We can sort of chain them together quite nicely. 
There we go. Trying not to mess up too much of the game. Ah, whatever. Just, just, just throw down the occasional one. We didn't even unlock the second building. Holy cow, we're still a few points away from that, but that's that's fine. Uh, right, let's take another. Let's take another thing. Let's take fisheries. I really would like another fishing boat, at least to go down here, so that we can throw down another fishery. Right about there. Yeah, I mean, thirty-six points is not exactly tons. I do still think that we can do a little bit more work on the fishery front, but it's it's not bad for now. 25, 26, 18, 28, 33. I mean, that is absolutely bumping. Let's go right there. Beautiful. Love to see it. Okay, let's keep up the pace. Ugh, farming, I want to get to the next level, but I really don't like... I really don't like farming. Let's go Let's go back to villages. Seven flipping cottages in one, in one fell swoop? Okay. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, I don't love the fact that we're going to get rid of some of these game. Some of these some of these bits of game. Uh, sure, let's go over there. Again, sort of, I'm just generally being informed by the, the sort of landscape here. What feels kind of nice. Let's go there. Sure. I, I mean, I know that we are going to be getting rid of some of these. Some of these, uh, some of these tiles, but that's okay. Ooh, look at that. We've discovered a merged building. These are large structures that are created when you place buildings in certain combinations. They can only be built where there are no steep cliffs. That's fine. Uh, nice. Okay, that's fantastic news. That is really, really fantastic. What did we get? A longhouse? Okay, with a longhouse, we can get a cathedral as well. Uh, and there's also a villa. Um, I have no idea what we merged here. We merged... Oh, presumably... Presumably this is a villa then? I guess so. I guess. I guess that's four houses and therefore they came together in a villa. Okay, is there any other opportunity that we potentially have to make this happen? We can try. Yeah, I don't want to... I really don't want to mess up the environment too much. Okay. And then there. Beautiful. Okay, we managed to nab ourselves a villa. I mean, it was at the expense of a few, a few perhaps optimal points, but that's okay. We managed to get ourselves a demolition. In fact, two demolition, um, two demolition bombs, which is kind of nice. I'm happy with that. Let's keep up the pace. What do we got here? We got a square. Okay. Uh, keep and long houses. Beautiful. Look at that. That's 20 points. Literally crying out. Fantastic. Let's nab it. 23 points. Very, very good, in fact. Let's see if we can maybe try and pursue a... That's a hunting cabin. See if we can try and pursue another longhouse combo. We need to make sure that we don't... Oh, this is perfect. Right here. Okay, good. Nice. That means that a square could go quite comfortably quite comfortably up here. This is looking and feeling quite nice, isn't it? Okay, let's not place that last cottage yet. Let's get um let's get some additional fishing boats. Let's go 31. Oh my giddy ant, that is incredible. Can we do better than 31? No, but there's a lot of good there's a lot of good potential around these parts. I like that. I like that a lot. What about over here? 32, 32 is not bad. 32 is not bad. I'll take 32. Boat Builder is now available. Okay, so let's see if we can try and nab the fishery deck again. Right, Boat Builder gives us bonuses from fishing boats. Oh, that's so perfect, right? Like over here? 26. Eh. I feel like it should be a little bit better than that, but to be honest, 30 is probably not bad. Is that enough to be, to be gold, though? No, it's not. It's still silver, which means that I think that we missed out on a on a cracking opportunity there. Uh, 24 points. I will take 24 points there. Yeah, it's pretty good for a fishing boat. Still looking for more cottages, but that's okay. That is absolutely fine. Uh, I think we're going to take the forestry pack because we're very much moving towards the next level of the forestry deck. And there's a couple of really, really great locations for hunting cabins over here. Uh, 46 is like... It's it's such a, a nastily good number. I feel like there's definitely like a few places where we could probably do better than 46, but I mean maybe not 
Maybe not many. Even if we were to replace some of these woods. Uh, yeah, I mean... I think, to be honest, just going for a 46 banger is pretty darn good. That's definitely a gold. Definitely a gold placement. Um, we still have some lumberjacks as well, which... I don't feel overly enthusiastic about, to be honest. I mean, we're very sort of space limited here. I'll take 12. I don't think that's good enough to be... Yeah, it's not. It's not even close to being good enough to, to, to be gold, but... Yeah, we'll, we'll get a few more down anyway. Um, we are sort of going to get a sawmill at some point, so maybe I should have held off on placing those. The sawmill is kind of nice because it ties in. Oh, it ties in with the boat builder and the lumberjack. Well, the boat builder we ended up putting down over here. The lumberjacks, we have not got any in any realistically decent locations that we can sort of tie in. 36, that's not bad. 52, that's heckin' great. That's that's an ideal point for it. Hey, look at that! Look at that. Okay, we reached um we reached the 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 bronze medal level. Hey, that's good. That's very very good in fact. Okay, all right. Keep up the keep up the pace. Right. So we managed to get that. That's pretty good. We've still got the farming tiles to upgrade. Uh, we've still got some villages to upgrade. Let's take farming right now. I haven't really done anything with grain fields for a little while. Yeah, we'll just... There we go. Windmills now available. That's good. Let's get... Let's get a hunting cabin down, because we've got one spare. 22, 20, 24... We, there's got to be better than that. I mean, the hunting... The hunting cabin is an absolute whopper. It's a whopper waiting to happen. 28? Are we seriously... 30? 38? I think... 38, 40, 40 is very, very good. I think I'll take 40, sure. Sign me up to 40. Beautiful. We absolutely blew past uh, the gold limit there. That's very, very nice. Okay, let's take farming. I'd really like to get a windmill. Uh, what is the windmill modified by? Grain field, forest. Forest is negative and windmill is also negative. Right, this is a terrible area just to, to do anything. Um, we could always go for a little demolition though, couldn't we? We could absolutely go for a little demolition. If I get a grain field here. If I go for the demolition right in the center there. Can I go more grain fields here? More grain fields there. Windmill right in the center. That's 52 flipping points right there. And I think we can actually do a little bit better than 52. It's, look, it's, it's not a great combination, all things considered. We're putting stuff on the coast, but I don't care because that's going to get us 64. Holy cow, that's incredible. Uh, let's see if we can get one more over there. Still silver fields, so that's not bad. Right up to 68. Holy cow, one... One off the perfect number. Hey, that's pretty darn good, I think, all things considered. Right. Uh, we still need more for the farming pack. I really want to expand the village, though. I really want to expand the village. Oh, yeah, we've not really placed down many squares. We have placed down a few, but not too, too many. Long houses and keep. This is probably the best space that we're going to get for a square, realistically. 23. It's good enough, actually, to get us a... Uh... I tell you what, that's a very good place. Cottages, can we get... If I do this... Thank you very much, video game. Silver medals, nice. I think, yeah, I think we can get a longhouse right about there. That's really nice, in fact. Hey, this is looking, this is looking kind of nice. In fact, this is looking really, really nice. How close are we to the keep upgrade? I mean, not, not a million miles away. We're not exactly, you know, banging on the door of an upgrade, but we're not far off. Uh, do I care about fisheries? No, I care more about grain. Although, it seems like a pretty awful thing to care about at a time like this. That being said... Let's continue to move forward the grain agenda. Even if I don't end up doing anything good with them, we'll still build towards a, yeah, a windmill, which is exactly what we're after. 
God, the forest, the flipping forest is nasty, isn't it? Yeah, I think we're going to go for the demolition again, just because it's easier to calculate. And we've actually got plenty of demolition. Right. Grain field over there. It goes negative ever so slightly, but that's okay. Let's go... Do, 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 do. Let's go forestry, because I could really do with a sawmill right now. And the keep has been upgraded as well, which is very, very nice. Houses available. Brilliant. Okay, so I think we can still... Can we get any other mergers? Garden, treasury, church, church. No, that's still a wee bit of a ways away. Oh, tell you what, we've got longhouse. We need to get a villa. So if we can get the house pack, then we can we can get that up and running. That would be pretty darn sick, if I do indeed say so myself. Let's go here. Yeah, let's go here. We'll get a few more bits of grain. Oh, I really want to take this pack. Let's not take it yet, though. Let's not take it yet. Let's save it. Savor the flavor. Right, so we got probably like multiple windmills maybe to go down in this area. There we go. Let's get a windmill. Boom! 56. You'll love to see it. Yeah, so I think we ideally want to get ourselves another... Oh, fantastic news! You've completed the map. Keep playing to beat the high score. Don't worry, I am going to keep going to beat the high score. Uh, yeah, so we've got another windmill that we probably can get down. I think here's a pretty good place for it. I need to get at least two of these. Ooh, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. Uh, yeah, if I get rid of this tile right here, I mean, I'm still going to have a little bit of a negative penalty, but maybe I just sort of suck it up and deal with it. 33 points is still very, very good. Probably going to get gold? Not quite, not quite, not quite, but that's okay. Uh, right, let's pursue a sawmill, because there is definitely the opportunity to get some good sawmill placements down here, especially if I'm strategic with my, my lumberjacking. I should never say that ever again, should I? There we go. 36. That's what I'm talking about. That's that's good. That's good. That's good. 52. That's even better. Heck yeah. Brilliant. Oh, fantastic. Okay, wonderful. Right, let's get the city pack if we can. Beautiful. We've got four houses. Let's start building up here. What do what do houses get affected by? Uh villas, keeps, houses, long houses, squares, cottages. Pretty much exactly what you'd expect. Anyway, um, we're going to ruin this sort of um, cliff area. I'm fine with that because we're going to get, like, an absolutely gorgeous town together uh, here. It, it looks so nice, doesn't it? Uh, let's get this cottage just over there because it's been hanging around in my inventory for a little while now. I really would like to experiment with hop fields a little bit more. I say a little bit more because I haven't actually done much with them at all. Uh, let's get a square down. Uh, we get bonuses from other squares, actually. Keeps and longhouses really are massive, though. 13, 17. Yeah, I'm not overly sure that we're going to be getting some huge bonuses off this, but that's okay. I would kind of like to keep this area reserved for another long house, or another villa, should I say, rather than a long house. Yeah, uh, but I think, I, I genuinely do think that the the way to chain the points together is by getting them into a long house sort of configuration. I think that's definitely my preferred way of approaching the situation. Let's do same over here. Market now available. That's good. As look, look, we're building towards we're building towards where we need to be building towards anyway, uh, which is getting access to more and more buildings, which is great. Let's go get another village pack. What does the market do? Long houses keeps houses. It's basically as long as there's not another market in sight, then we will be fine. This is fine, although we should probably twenty eight is pretty good. 28 doesn't feel particularly bad. Um, I mean, getting rid of this cottage over here seems like a smart move right about now. 40 points. Heck yeah. And in fact, this area is still 
perfectly valid for uh, a market. That is not gold. Can you believe that? That is not gold. Right, I'll pick up farming. I'll get the hop fields. What do hop fields do? Oh, they've got proximity to stone. Oh, nice. Okay, so we build we build hop fields on stone and ideally near the coast as well. So any sort of coastal stony area is ripe for a hop field, but it needs to have like a proper, like proper rocks. Can't just have pretend rocks. Right, okay. I guess we're going to go and start up here. Eh, you know what? It's okay. That works out. That works out not too, not too badly. Uh, yeah, I really don't like this. Sure, get rid of those grain fields. Maybe we can throw down an additional windmill here at some point. No, I'm not gonna. No, I'm not gonna gripe about it too much. Let's get some more houses here, uh, and we'll see if we can maybe get. Ah, can't build there. Can I demolish this? No. That's a bit of a shame. Well, you know what? We'll still have some individual houses. Nothing wrong with a few individual houses. They don't need to necessarily be combined into a into a villa, but it would be nice if they. It would be nice if they were, but no big deal. Uh, we'll improve the farming pack because there we go. Yep, we can get the brewery, which is great, and I'll see if I can select it right now, and we'll get that down somewhere in proximity to the hops fields. Ah, I see. So there's definitely like an optimization to be made here. Uh, the optimization is going to be... Let's see if we can get another one. Uh, I can't get another one. The optimization is getting rid of this and moving the hop field over here and then sticking the brewery down in the middle. I think we're actually going to wait until that happens because if we're able to get that, then I... I don't know. I just... I feel like I would feel better. Right. I know we're going to sort of uh, do a little bit of terraforming here. We're going to get rid of some of the... We're going to get rid of some of the natural land for some more productive farmland, but it's all in the... It's all for a good cause, probably. Right. Apparently, this area is going to become my next housing development. Let's do that, and I'll start the sort of... Uh, I'll start the process of getting the next one. There's a good opportunity for a market in there, or perhaps a... Well, something else. City, forestry, uh, I need... Oh, has fishery, actually. We still got another building to unlock in the fishery deck. A garden. Hey, we need a garden for the... Yeah, for the... Um, for whatever that building is. The cathedral. Very cool. And we can also get the... Oh, fantastic. We got another deck. The quarry deck. Of course, it had to be the quarry deck. Of course, it had to be the quarry deck. It had to be... It had to be a, a useful building that... It had to be a building that would uh, would take advantage of the rocks, I suppose. There we go. Nice. And we'll start the process of constructing the next longhouse over here. Uh, houses we already have. That's 34 points from that one house, by the way. Holy cow, this is looking and feeling very, very nice indeed. That's 44 points right there. The problem is, is that it's surrounded by, it's surrounded by stuff, and I really want this to form part of, I really want this to form part of the, the, the next, the next bit. Okay, I think I'm gonna hope for another, I'll take mining, I will take mining. What's quarry gonna do? Quarry is proximity to stone, proximity to mountain, proximity to other quarries. Yeah, see, we're not actually going to be able to get... We're going to be able to get a good number of points from one. 65? It's got to be gold. It's got to be gold. Excellent. But I feel like we're not really going to be able to leverage quarries as much as I'd like to, because I've built on... I've built on most of the rocky outcrop that I really was bothered about dealing with. There's not that much... There's not that much rocky stuff left. Minus 35 points. 35? Sure. Let's go, let's go in here. Uh, 35 is probably barely enough to get silver. Yeah, but that's okay. I'm really looking, I'm really looking for another farming uh, block, because I'd really like another hop field. Beautiful. We'll get that in there. 
We'll get the demolition done here. We'll get the brewery in here for 75 flipping points. That is absolutely gargantuan. If that doesn't hit gold, then I would... It didn't hit gold? Well, that is unbelievably surprising. 43 flipping points from a hops field. That at least makes up for it. I'll, I'll take that. That feels okay. Sure. A windmill. Is there any decent place for a windmill here? Tell you what, that's not a bad place for it. All things considered, let's let's do that. I'm glad that I've got the ability to demolish stuff. Let me put it that way. That's a gold windmill nonetheless. Okay. So, I think we probably want to get more city. Uh, more in the city pack. We've not explored all of the village pack, but the city pack is definitely sort of the priority, I think. Let's have a little look at that cathedral again. We still have no treasury. We still have no church. So I think we probably just want to pursue more houses. But, like, is there anywhere that's, like, ideally good for houses? I guess over here? Taverns available. That's pretty sick. Probably. Well, I mean, taverns in general are pretty sick, but... Let's go for it. Brewery, keep, and villa. Well, I'm afraid the brewery is slightly far away from everything. That's 60 points right there. 20 points, 43. That's a huge banger of 43 right there. 42, 62. I mean, yes. It's in proximity to villas. Villas, 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 villas. It's got cottages. It's got bonuses from cottages as well. But I think I think there is is honestly perfect. 62. That's got to be gold, right? It's barely silver. Holy cow. I feel like there's so much scope for optimization uh, in this game. Let's go village. I will get a square. Uh, the square will go like here. Let's get some more cottages. We'll finish that villa out in the first instance. That's good. I still have seven flipping cottages. Okay. Nice. Okay. I mean, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, where am I going to build... Where am I going to build my houses? Did I have any place to build any of these houses? I don't think I can build it up here because I think the cliffs are going to stop it from forming into a proper house. That's 30 flipping points for a house right there. I think I just sort of build solo houses here. Yeah, squares. I can't honestly, truthfully say that I've got squares sorted yet. I I'm not even sure that I like them. That sounds a bit mean to say, but I I don't know if I I don't know if I rate him. Sure, give me a twenty. Yeah, give me another twenty. That's fine. I'm holding on to this garden for dear life, but I'm still not convinced that it's. You know what? Just sure, stick it down there. Forty-four from a garden. It's gold. It squeaks. It just barely past the line. Let's get mining. Let's go. Ooh, 25? Is that seriously the best that I'm going to be able to manage? 15. Yeah, see, we're in... 30 is the best that we're going to be able to manage. And then we're going to be able to get 25 there. And that sucks. <laughs> and that sucks. Because we are now, like, absolutely at the limit of what we can... Of what we can do with the mining the mining pack 20 i mean it feels really bad to be sticking down like 20 bangers here minus 45 there's nothing on an island that can really get anything is there nah, no not really 10 15 a whole 15 points if i ditch that field which i guess i'll do will get us a whole 25 points bronze right 
Let's get a stonemason. This has got to be... Oh, my lordy. Okay, okay. I see, I see, I see, I see. Okay, so the, the challenge of placing the quarries is rewarded by the fact that apparently we just get a bazillion points. This is tied into quarries, stone, stonemason. The area of effect is, frankly, uh, ginormous. And actually, it works out quite well because the vast majority... In fact, all of our quarries, bar one, is in this central location. 105. If that's not gold... I will be surprised. I will say, didn't actually get uh, get us across the line as much as I thought that we would. Um, we've earned the gold medal. We don't have any buildings left apart from demolition, which isn't actually going to get me uh, any additional points. Uh, the stonemason, the last building that we ended up placing, uh, literally gave us the, the most points. That was what, 105 or something. Um, we absolutely managed to get the gold medal, like no questions asked. So we didn't get we didn't get to the end of these um, these these decks. Uh, we did manage to get the decently uh, sized merged buildings, which was kind of nice. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, we didn't manage to get our castle up to up to level six. But that being said, I mean, all in all, that was a pretty darn good run. We probably exploited about seventy uh, percent, maybe, of the available tiles on the board. Honestly, all things considered, I think that went very, very very well indeed uh we're gonna wrap it up for now ladies and gentlemen thank you ever so much for watching my name of course has been over potato please do indeed consider supporting the uh supporting the show over on patreon if indeed you're interested in helping make videos like this possible but for now and for me i'll see you next time bye